Hi, we're back again. I'm Pat Kelly and I'm the president and CEO of Ebony Horsewomen. And I'm coming to you today to talk to you about something that was a little difficult for me to talk about today. And I'm not really quite sure why. I think if I gave it a little bit more thought, it would be that some things are difficult to put in words, but you understand them better in your spirit and your soul. So I'm going to see if I can articulate this to you so that you can understand um, a little bit about what I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you a picture. I want you to see this picture. And if I were to ask you what it is that you see when you look at this picture. Now, you may say that you see a young African-American uh, man riding a horse. And that's the obvious. Um, he's actually 15, he's not a man. You know, they grow him big in this generation. But this says a lot that probably the average person doesn't understand. If you look at the expression or the countenance on this horse's face, you can see that there is no stress or anxiety coming from this horse. The rider as well. In order to have that happen, there has to be a secret communication going on between the horse and the rider, an agreement, um, a level of comfortness, a level of trust that goes on. And how is that created? Well, that's one of the principles of equine therapy, and in some cases, equine assisted psychotherapy. Horses do not have the luxury of language. As a matter of fact, I think horses deplore our language. I think our voices annoy them. But they do have a very strong communication system. And it's nonverbal communication. As a matter of fact, we know, or some of us know, that 80% of our communication is nonverbal, body language, you know. Um, we were talking not long ago with some other young ladies my age, and we were talking about how your mother could look at you in a certain way, and you would know exactly what she's saying. It's chapter and verse, you know, and every other child knew what she was saying with her face. Well, this is the kind of information that goes on between horse and rider. When there is trust, when there is an agreement. And that is such a value. We put a lot of stock in, in the verbiage that we communicate with each other, and, and rightly so in many circumstances, but there is such a more powerful communication system that goes on between humans and animals. One of which is with a horse. When I look at this picture, I see trust. I see, again, an agreement. And one is not boss over the other. One is not superior to the other. They are in equal partnership. Obviously, this horse is much stronger than this human. But there is an agreement to be led by the human as long as there is no abuse. And that's when, or where I should say, it becomes difficult for humans. We want to be alpha all the time. 
And it's a very difficult position to be in. And there's a great cost to it, oftentimes. But with this horse, who obviously has the upper hand, there is no need to be alpha unless pushed into it. So this is one of the bases of equine therapy. Again, equine therapy is an activity that you do with a horse. It's not necessarily psychotherapy, but it is therapy with horses. You learn what makes you tick. You learn where your fear bases are. You learn the tools to manage that. You learn a greater capacity for nonverbal communication. And you learn to work in partnership. And these lessons are transferable in the greater world. And I wanted to share that with you today because I have these pictures of these young people in my office all around. And today, for some reason, I wanted to kind of just stop and take a look at all of the youth, well, not all of them, but some of the youth that has come through our organization. And they are all progressive, productive young people. And I would love to say, look what I did. But I didn't do this. It was Pegasus and Chino and Carter and Monico and Ali and all the other horses that we have here that worked with these young people and helped develop them to the productive individuals that they are today. So that's all I got for you today, but I'll be back and we'll talk some more about how horses are such an amazing tool to find yourself. Be well. <laughs>